morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to share some thoughts about stewardship as it relates to the music programs here at St. Mark's. Our family moved here from New Jersey about two years ago when I had a job transfer um, here to Columbus. In order to explain how we got here, I need to go back to our roots in music and in worship and how those have been intertwined. Our sons, Peter and John Sholkoff, began singing at a very young age when we were members of Grace Church in Madison, New Jersey. John is now a senior and Peter is a freshman at the Wellington School. When our children were in preschool, there was a chapel choir program for children five years and younger. I will never forget our son John singing in his angel costume during the pageant, despite the fact that he had a bloody nose and he had tissue stuff, stuffed up his nose. <laughs> he continued singing and he clearly liked singing so much that it really didn't matter to him. Afterwards, they referred to him as the bloody angel. <laughs> Thereafter, John and Peter sang in the children's choir at church and ultimately auditioned at the American Boy Choir School, which is based in Princeton, New Jersey. The American Boy Choir School actually started here in Columbus. Some of you may have heard of the Columbus Boy Choir School. It moved to New Jersey back in the 1950s, and they formed a school. It's a middle school, boarding school for boys who love to sing. And our children were luck lucky enough to be part of that. While at the school, the boys sang at an entirely different level. They performed all over the country. They sang at Carnegie Hall. They sang with some of the best orchestras in the, in, in the country. They also sang a lot of sacred music as part of that and continued to sing in church, especially during the holidays and the special programs. In addition, while they were at church, they were following something called the Royal School of Church Music program, which I'm not sure if people have heard of that before, but it, it is a, a unique tradition that we have in the Anglican Church. This involves a system that rewards young singers with ribbons when they reach certain musical and educational milestones. The RCSM has a wonderful summer camp as well um, in Wilkes-Barre, uh, Pennsylvania. Our son John has attended that camp every year since he was in fifth grade. And for adults and for children who love to sing, it's, it's another great opportunity to sing in, in the great Anglican tradition. So when we decided to move from New Jersey to Columbus, selection of the right church was very much to us linked to the music program. We were used to some very strong choral programs from the boy choir experience and from our home church. So with all of these expectations, we had some anxiety about finding the right church when we came here. I first came out here with my son John um, and basically interviewed Matt about the music program to see if it would be the right fit. And Matt was very diplomatic about the whole thing, by the way. <laughs> Then when my husband Ernie arrived, he also joined the choir. And finally, Peter joined over the summer when he was home from the school. And they all went to England and had a really wonderful experience there. Peter actually, since then, has um, quite a passion in English Renaissance music and loves the fact that the choir does Thomas Tallis and, and William Byrd and some of those great composers. So our whole family has really, since we've come here, been immersed in the choral program. Um, I, though, I'm the, the choir widow, and I'm the one who sits in church by myself because the rest of my family is in the choir. So if you ask John and Peter what shaped them most during these early years and what brought them to church every Sunday, they would tell you that it was the music and the choir programs. And now that they are in high school, there are many other things that high school children want to do on Sunday mornings, like sleeping, for instance. But every Sunday, our boys are here, and they're here singing. And I'm sure that they're picking up a little bit of the other things that go on in church at the same time. So to us, and I believe many of us, music is an integral part of worship. 
It's a part of our faith, and it's the way we celebrate God's gifts in this world. What we found since coming here is really a treasure. Uh, the church has provided a wonderful venue for us to worship and to continue to sing and make high-quality music. The level of musicianship here in this church matches some of the quality of the best churches that we've been to on the East Coast. Matt is using the Royal School of Church Music Methods as well here at St. Mark's with the Canterbury Choir, and that helps provide motiv motivation to young choristers to advance musically and liturgically. The adult choir also attracts um, excellent quality singers, um, so all in all, this is wonderful and um, really uh, a great opportunity for us, whether we're sitting uh, listening to the beautiful music or if we're participating in it. So I think that you don't really have to be a music expert to recognize that what we have here is very special. So I encourage everyone here to listen to the anthems you hear and appreciate what you receive every Sunday. If you or your children have an interest in music, please consider participating. And in fact, there was just an article, an editorial in the New York Times this morning that I was just reading about music and its uh, link to success, career success. Uh, very interesting if you get a chance to see it. it. talked about some of the most successful people of all time and how many of them happen to be musicians and how music um, teaches you other disciplines that help, help you uh, be successful in many other ways. So, again, if you or your children have musical inclinations, please consider participating. They'll give back to you so much more than you would expect. And during stewardship season, we take the time to reflect in the programs we're supporting and think prayerfully about those gifts. And I would encourage you to give generously, participate in the stewardship season, and really listen to the gifts from God that are in the voices that you hear every Sunday. Thank you.